Well, it's 6.40 a.m. and I'm heading to the beach. Everybody else has stuff going on and they either couldn't come or were not so inclined to come to the beach at 6.40 a.m. So I'm going by myself. I just kind of wanted to go to a different beach that was also good for collecting shark teeth. And this one's a little closer, so it's a pretty good candidate. So let's go check it out. We've arrived. Here we are pulling up at Casperson Beach. We usually go a little further down the beach and that's where I'm heading. But I'm noticing, and I noticed on the way in too, that there are a lot more rocks along this part of the beach than I thought there were or that I remembered there being and I think I'd really like to try the fishing along here sometime oh darn I'll just have to come back <laughs> I'm noticing quite a few places where there are sea turtle nesting sites marked so that's pretty cool. I think that's probably more than I've seen on other beaches I've been to on this trip. Well, I went a little bit south of where most of the other people were. And these are the nifty shells I found along the way. Let's give this shark tooth sifting thing a try. I brought my favorite sifter. I own three of these now. They're not even really shark tooth sifters. They are some kind of colander thing or... I don't know, rack thing. I get them at thrift stores. It's the only place I've ever seen them. But they are wonderful for this. So whenever I see them, I buy them. And I pared down my supplies to just this. Traveling light today. So I'm going to set up my tripod and see what is out there. In the very first scoop, I found one that's been broken off. That's not so bad. Here's a pretty nice one I found. It's not huge, but it looks to be in really good shape, nice and sharp. Check this out. This is my best one yet. <laughs> Let's see if there's any more in here. No, I don't see any more, but this is a pretty good scoop. <laughs> this is a pretty nice one I found. It's not super big, but it's nice and sharp and in good shape. I wanted to show you this scoop 
mainly because I know it's a good one. <laughs> I was shaking it around down there and saw at least one good shark tooth, so I thought, well, I'll bring this one up for a close-up. Because there's also a nice shell in there, at least one that I saw. So, now i got to find them while I'm on video. Well, here's the shell. Like, that's easy to find. It's the first thing I saw when I picked up this scoop. Isn't it pretty? It's tiny, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put that in here. Oh, here we go. Alright, so... Ah, there's this shark teeth. Oh my goodness. There's this shark tooth. And it's really sharp. It has more detail than most because it's not been beat up by the waves so much. And there's a bunch of these in here. Each beach has its own personality, it seems like, and this beach has a lot of these shells. And I like them. Like, how many do you need? There's that. I guess you could say the same thing for shark teeth, but <laughs> take that a little different. Like, I need a bunch of them. <laughs> and there's this one. There's a whole lot of those. Oh, there's another tooth. This was a darn good sift. I knew it was good, but dang, this is a nice tooth. Look at that. It's a little more rounded off, but it's bigger. So that's a trade-off, I guess. I better put that in there before I drop it. All right, that, that's enough. That's what we're keeping out of this one. That's a darn fine scoop. Well, maybe one more. I don't need it. I <laughs> like it. Look at this one. I think it's my best one yet. Pretty darn happy with it. Look at these little birds. On my way out of Casperson Beach, I wanted to give you one last look of this beautiful place. I'll do a show and tell on shells and shark teeth from here, probably when I get back to Jenny's. But overall impressions are that the water was clearer and I saw more little fish than I did at Minnesota. I did not collect as many teeth in the same amount of time. But, I mean, there's lots of variables there. Um, the beach is just different, and some types of sifters might work better in this kind of environment than at Minnesota. This one, I noticed, had larger and, and more numerous particles of shells, at least in the spot that I was. Like, I was in one spot, because that's where I had my camera set up. But you could go up or down the beach and possibly find a different or more productive spot. So it's just luck of the draw. So don't draw any major conclusions based on one experience. Like apply good science. Always apply good science. A lot of crappy science out there, but that's a whole nother tangent I'm not getting into. On the way out, I wanted to show you this cool trail. So this is where we just were. And the trail I walked down after that last little clip. And then there's a trail that continues on further down the beach. And then this one that we're going to take that goes back up to where we parked. But isn't this cool? Like, it's just beautiful. You're walking through the palm trees on the way to the parking lot. And not another person am I seeing. And yeah, it's not 640 anymore. It's, I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe two hours later. I'm a crappy judge of time, but the last time I checked, it was kind of somewhere around there. Here are the shells and teeth and shards and rocks and stuff I collected at Casperson Beach this morning. It looks like there are 20 actual teeth, although some of them are broken or have, have pieces that are broken off. But some of them are pretty good. 
So there you go. Hope you get to try it yourself sometime soon. It's really fun.